drawing on their experience and insights, which I hope will help us all in these difficult times as we stay indoors and isolated across the world to control the spread of COVID-19. In, in terms of isolating ourselves, in terms of staying in a confined space with few people for long periods of time, we thought we'd talk about uh, habits in particular structure and routine. And I thought I'd go to Tim Peake first to talk about how um, that idea of structure and routine is used and is helpful on the International Space Station. Hello, Brian. Um, yeah, habits and routine. I mean, it's so key to really to to keeping everything under control in a confined and isolated uh, situation. Um, that kind of structure that it gives you on board the International Space Station is vital. And I think we need to embrace that as well here at home in these difficult conditions for everybody. Um, we call it kind of normalizing the abnormal. Well, you know, it was a, a beautiful launch and uh, we got launched straight into night and got on with the work. But uh, that first sunrise was absolutely spectacular. And uh, we also got the benefit of a moonrise on the first orbit as well, which is beautiful to see. And really on the space station, what that means is kind of getting up, having a cup of tea, having a bacon sandwich and going to work. You're in a very abnormal situation, but actually the routine of your day-to-day your -day life by having that structure, that schedule, it keeps everything on track. It means that you can achieve what you set out to achieve. And it also helps to manage everybody's expectations in getting things done. Um, but the flip side of that is actually also being able to have some control. Uh, and I think that's very key for people to feel as well in situations that can feel out of control. Um, in the early days of the space station, you know, the schedule was really very, very rigid in terms of what you could eat, uh, what you could exercise, when you would had to do things. And we've gradually relaxed that a little bit so that astronauts now can choose their own diet, their own meals. Um, they can choose, you know, they, when they exercise, they have preferences, etc. Um, and it's being able to give people some feeling of control to that schedule as well is, is also very important. So that there are kind of a few things that we do on board the space station that I think people can embrace them uh, and really get help you get into a positive mental attitude about being in this new environment that everybody find them, finds themselves in.